I'm actually wanting to bring them over here to where all these, woo, they're so excited, to where all these logs are. I think they'll get a kick out of playing on them. Coco, come on. We are going to check out a cow today. We're pretty excited, obviously. It's been in our plan all along to get a family milk cow. We still have a lot to do to actually prepare for a cow, but we're gonna go check this one out. It's been offered to us, and anyway, there's, there is time between now and when we would need to get her that we could finish the fences and you know get a stall ready for her and a stanchion ready. I just wanted to update you guys on Moonbeam. Her diarrhea cleared right up, so what that means is she just ate something. Too much pasture or something in her hay, or maybe something in the pasture that she ate. She's fine though. You may be wondering why we would be interested in a cow if we have nine goats. That is a very good question. Well, there's a few reasons for it. Goats and cows have very different purposes on the homestead. Goats can clear bramble, whereas cows eat grass. Goats really like browse more than pasture. They do fine on pasture too. Cows provide a lot more milk than goats. And we are definitely wanting to be in the business of providing all of our dairy. Now you get different kinds of dairy with goats than from cows. But I think mo most importantly for us is that cows can be totally grass fed. I'm sure there are people out there 100% browsing goats. But you still get very little milk and have to have a lot of goats in order to do that. When you have a grass fed cow, you're gonna get a lot less milk than if you feed your cow grain. And we're okay with that. We're not in the business of production. However, with our goats, we do feed them grain for a few reasons, but the main one is that if we did it, we'd get so little milk, it wouldn't even be worth our time. I do feed them extremely high quality grain. It's organic whole grains, alfalfa and um, black oil sunflower seeds, plus lots of supplements and minerals and herbs to keep them healthy. But if it's feeling more and more to us that for milk, cows are the more sustainable option for a homestead. And I'm sure there are gonna be tons of people that disagree with that. I just think that the purposes of goats and cows on the homestead are quite different. Yep. We will be keeping some of our goats if we get this cow, so no worries. We still have, we need them to clear a bramble. We have a whole pasture, I don't know if you guys can see it from here, but way up there is a whole pasture that we need them to clear for us after we get our permanent fence around our main pasture in, we will be putting them to work up in the upper pasture to clear it for us. Goats are back in the barn, eating hay again. <laughs> and my hay room is filled once again, lovely. He said that was the last of his hay. I don't know if I'll get prices like that anywhere else, so. I don't even know if anyone else has hay. So we better get those fences done. And speaking of fences, we are going to see the cow right now. What do you think about getting a milk cow? I'm pretty excited about the idea. I kind of wonder how we're gonna deal with all the milk, but it's also gonna be an amazing blessing because we love to drink milk. And cheese and yogurt. And we want to make our own yogurt and cheese and butter. Sour cream and butter. And then we can feed the leftovers to animals. Like pigs. The piggers. Piggers. Yeah, I'm super excited. You know, I have a vision of the cow as kind of a centerpiece of a historic farm. And that's... Yeah. We need to be able to experience that. I agree. I'm gonna walk slowly over here and show you the possible cow we're gonna be getting. Also, she is a little skittish with new people, so we may not get a good shot of her. This is a beautiful jersey. She's a bred jersey. She's due at the end of June. This will be her first time freshening. This is actually her mother. This is Dolly. 
and they actually just told us that we could choose which cow. Dolly is nine years old and she just had the calf come off so she's a little skinny. They're fat, they're working on fattening her up right now. And Dolly is like not skittish at all. You can hand feed her, hand milk her out in the pasture, she'll just stand still. So it's very tempting to choose her. However, not Dolly, that's the kid's nickname for this one, is two years old and has a lot of milk left in her. So I'm pretty tempted to get her because she's she's an old hand. She's an old ma milk maid. <laughs> but then again, I'm also kind of up for and interested in the challenge of teaching this first freshener or learning with her how to milk and how to stand and how to be calm and gentle. Either way, they are beautiful. Jerseys are a small breed, but they are a high producing breed. So a Jersey cow that is being fed grain and hay and grass every day can give four to six gallons per day. Now I've heard of just grass fed Jerseys giving four gallons a day. We don't really expect to get that. We will be calf sharing and we will be doing just grass fed. Nope, you're not ready for that yet, huh? Close though, you shouldn't just run away. Here's a nice Dexter bull and a mini Longhorn. Look at this view. Touching her? Yeah, she's a little skittish because she's, they say that yeah, she doesn't like run. She just is like, I'm not interested in you. Just like that. So yeah, do you think we could train her? Uh -huh. I think we could, but do the question is do we want to? Because the mama over there is so chill. Let's walk over and say hi to the mama. And then we'll come back. Totally. See, she's totally cool with people. They say she'll even stand right there and let you milk her. Yeah, right in the pasture. It's like right before you get there. She just walks away. Which one do you want to get? Uh, oh. <laughs> Dolly? Because she's a little friendlier. Mm -hmm. But we could raise not Dolly to be our very own. We're heading home. We had an amazing time meeting new friends and learning a lot about various aspects of cattle farming. We couldn't be more excited about the possibility of us getting a milk cow. I think there's someone that might be the most excited. Or maybe there's someone. You're really more into cows than goats, huh? Yeah. Definitely. There's another great damn homestead. See you guys.